The V200 can also accommodate two limit switches. Mechanical single pole double throw and proximity switches are both available for general purpose applications. The switches will be mounted on a plate. There will also be a cam assembly and a bolt. Note that the positioner must be calibrated before feedback is installed. Installation begins with removing the indicator and the indicator post. The switch plate is secured with three screws. To install the cam, put the bolt through the cam assembly, drop it onto the spindle and make sure that the cam is engaged in the slot in the spindle, then tighten the bolt. The cams are set using the same screwdriver we've used for everything else so far. Simply insert the screwdriver into the slot in the cam and turn. The cams are self-locking when the screwdriver is removed. Usually the bottom switch indicates closed and the top switch indicates open. The cams are infinitely adjustable. With four milliamps on the positioner, we can set the bottom cam by turning it until we hear the bottom switch click. Then I'm going to put 20 milliamps on the positioner to open the valve and I'll put my screwdriver on the top cam and turn it until I hear that click that the top switch has made. Now we've set the switches. Now that the switches are set, you can install the indicator on the top of the cam bolt. The indicator post you removed is no longer used.